What up guys, Kevin here. I know it's pretty dark right now, but I just want to show you what my natural gaming uh, surroundings look like. I game in a very dark room, which is very great for OLED. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's an OLED screen right here, right there. <laughs> that is the LG OLED uh, 27 inch 95Q, all the numbers and letters. I believe it's the only 27 inch from LG that is an OLED right now. It retails, I think at a thousand dollars, it's on sale for eight 99 at Best Buy. And it's an OLED panel, 27 inch quad HD. Uh, I think 240 Hertz. I don't know. I got to double check that. And to the right, I love this monitor to the right is a TN panel though. It's a 24 inch. Quad HD, which I don't think they make 24-inch Quad HDs anymore, or at least from what I look on at Best Buy. Uh, it's a Dell. I got this years ago. I remember I had a really bad interview, <laughs> a really bad interview years ago. And so I stopped at Fry's Electronics to um, cure my uh, pain of embarrassing myself during an interview and bought this monitor, which is great because it has G-Sync, 24-inch Quad HD, but it is a TN panel. Now, I am somebody, I don't mind TN panels, at least not anymore, because look at the, these are mirroring each other. These are mirroring each other. So this is both the desktop. Which desktop is more beautiful? The one on the right? The very gray? <laughs> now, I will say, it does look a little bit more gray, uh, what you're seeing than what I'm seeing, but man... This looks gray or that dark inky blacks of OLED. Again, um, I'm not trying to talk you into OLED. If you haven't experienced OLED, don't, don't. It's expensive. Again, just a 27 inch quad HD monitor with G-Sync should retail around like $300, $400 max, but this is $899 on sale, $1,000. But you can see why. Look how dark, inky blacks this is. And the TN panel, which is fine, which is fine if you only have TN panels, or you can swap this in for IPS, though IPS is pretty bright. Um, yeah, uh, I want to throw away the one on the right so badly. <laughs> but I won't. Again, and then I think that only cost me like $300 at the time. But... This is OLED. Now, the issue that I'm seeing people have with the LG one over here, let me um, put on something, is just, it doesn't get that bright. Now, I'm in a very dark room, and I think it gets bright enough. It gets bright enough. So if you're worried about brightness, if you're in a lighter room maybe than mine, yeah, maybe you want to get the LG C2, the 42-inch, or another OLED monitor. I don't know what others are out there. I know Alienware has one. I think Asus and Corsair. Um, but look at it. It's just The colors are bright and punchy. To me, it's good enough. It's good enough. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and show side-by-side -side here. You just see how washed out it is on the right. Oh, probably don't want to see that. <laughs> but you just see how washed out it is on the right of the TN panel. And just on the left. Is, oh, man. Oh, man. But when I focus in on just the TN panel on the right here, and if it's if I didn't have the beautiful thing on the left, I'd be fine with that. I would be fine with that. But just doing the side by side. My God. My God. And again, the brightness on the LG here is just fine. It's it's fine. Can it be better? Sure. For eight ninety nine, it's hard for me to say at that price when there isn't that many OLEDs. And it's amazing that we got an OLED under a thousand dollars monitor wise. Um, but I hope within a few years something like this on the left is five hundred bucks. Not on sale on sale for like 350. <laughs> um but yeah, it just looks so good.
it just looks so good. Some of the color does look better on the TN panel. Um, OLED does give you bright and punchy. Sometimes it's a little too bright and punchy and it looks a little off. But overall, man, yeah. Once you go OLED, you don't go back. <laughs> you do not go back. But I just wanted to do this side by side just to show you what, what it's like gaming on an OLED. An OLED monitor, which is pretty awesome, I got to say. It's pretty awesome. Uh, isn't there usually part I want to see? But anyways, there you have it. Everything's just bright and punchy on the left, and I want to kill myself when I look at the right. <laughs> it's really... Because it, I got the dual monitor set up. It makes me... There's got to be, like, just a cheap non-gaming OLED out there. I, I need it now. I need it now, because this is just unacceptable. And at the time... Again, at the time when I picked it up, it was one of my best purchases ever. And it was just a few years ago. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Later.